from Kisa Langata constituency. We had six contestants. Sa Vivene, 121 votes. Sali Bolo, 138 votes. Wanguti Nathan Baraza, 146 votes. Musa Kahika Siongo, 97 votes. Osa Omoke Otola, 1612 votes. And the winner is Jalango Sebo. For the first time in your life, you are voting for yourself. How do you feel about it? <laughs> of course, yes, this is the first time I'm voting for myself, and it's a beautiful feeling. I've never been in any competitive, national competitive politics like we are today, and I've uh, toasted myself on the grounds to be the next member of parliament in Langata. And I want to appreciate every person who's come out to, read, uh, to vote today. And uh, the process has been very smooth and very quickly. And uh, I want to thank my party for making sure that the process is very smooth and uh, very calm. Everything is very peaceful. We are at Gay Primary School. This is within Mugumoini Ward, one of the wards in, uh, in Langata. We've been to High Rise, we've been to uh, Nairobi West, we've been to South Sea, we've been to Karen. And finally, we are here to make sure that we exercise our right to vote and uh, I hope they get to nominate me as the next member of parliament to fly the Azimio flag in the general election <coughs> come 9th August 2022. Mm -hmm. As we've seen, uh, Jalango, uh, you have your people here. Uh, they cheered you in when you're coming in. Uh, how does that feel? And, uh, you know, uh, here in Kenya, it usually happens that uh, we usually have irregularities uh, during elections. Mm. What have you done to make sure that you guide your votes? Of course, yes, we've done everything possible. There's, uh, it is all uh, very strict about uh, <laughs> voter, uh, voter education and voter, uh, civic education around uh, voters. Right now, we are not first allowed to make any noise around this place. That is one thing. So that our support, our competitors cannot say that we came in and uh, messed up the election process. That is one thing. Another thing, we have made sure that there's no money being given to anyone here. There's no bribery. Every other person who's voting for me are people who actually love me. And, uh, and uh, those are loyal followers. Followers. So, so those are some of the things that uh, we've made sure because it's always violence and voter bribery. And Team Jalas, we are peace-loving uh, Langata members, peace-loving Kenyans. So we've made sure that there's a lot of peace around this place. And more so, there's no voter bribery. Everybody voting for me as Jalas is out of goodwill. And they're amazing voters of Langata. Yes. Uh, what message do you have for the youth during this electioneering period? Just... Of course, yes, the youth are prone to be used and uh, abused. And uh, we... This next election, 75% of the voters are actually the youth. So we want to make sure that every other youth comes out and uh, exercise their right. And uh, this is the time for the young people. As you can see them here, we have our mothers too here. We have our fathers here. So it is time to make sure that we bring leadership, good leadership that will bring difference in the society and to the community and to the constituency that is in Langata and to the larger Nairobi County. Yes. Uh, just, just to confirm uh, to, to the people who uh, will vote for you, I just want you to confirm, are you confident enough that you're going to win this and then the main election? Of course, yes, we are in this to win. Nobody goes into any war thinking that they won't win. Uh, we have worthy competitors and maybe the best candidate to win. Yes. Okay, now, uh, just a different story out of the, the Langata and voting. I, uh, uh, we have received the sad news of the passing of the third president of Kenya. Yes. What, uh, what do you remember him for and uh, what did you know him as a person in particular? Of course, yes, I didn't, I didn't get to interact with uh, uh, the late Emilio Mwaikibaki much and because I had not gotten myself into heavy political, but I did a lot of news and did a lot of radio when he was the president. God rest his soul in peace, uh, our former president. In the next two, three weeks, Kenya is going to go into very deep mourning, as we are mourning now. 
we just ask our people to be calm during this very hard, uh, hard time and we send our sincere condolences to the family uh, and the whole uh, clan around the former uh, president, the late Honorable Mwai Kibaki. Yes. Uh, what, what particular issues do you remember him for and that uh, you love? Obviously, you are yeah. a young person uh. that time, you're, you're still a yes, young yes, person. Yes. Uh. How has, he, how has uh, his uh, leadership of course, impacted your life? Of course, if there's one president that uh, is known to have turned the economy of this country, is Mwai Kibaki. Uru has done very well. Mwai Kibaki too has done, did very well. Actually, he opened a very clean slate uh, for our president Uru Mwigai Kenyatta to take over. And uh, definitely we remember Mwai Kibaki, a uh, very humorous person, hitting hard and always making sure that uh, whatever message you wanted to pass, he passes it out there. But he'll be remembered as one of the best presidents this country has ever had. He served this country well. May his soul rest in peace. Mm -hmm. okay. Delango, maybe one word uh, to your fans <coughs> that turn out to vote for you, your family, friends. Of course, yes. Thank you so much. We are yeah. The voting process is still going on and uh, to everybody who's already voted for me i want to sincerely from the bottom of my heart thank you thank you thank you so much thank you so much Thank